Hello, welcome to Dungeon Rollers Podcast. I'm your host, uh, Justin. Today we're reviewing Evangelion 2.22, uh, You Cannot Advance. It's the second in the rebuilt trilogy. Now going to be quality trilogy because the new movie is coming out on January 23rd. I did a trailer reaction to it. Uh, feel free to check check that out. So, like, um, this is, the, like I mentioned, the second movie in the rebuilt series. Which is, um, for people who don't know, it's like a remake of... The original mecha series Neon Genesis Evangelion by Hideki Anno and char with character designs by Yoshiyuki Salmato, who also did the character designs for the original Dot Hack uh, video games, which they repurpose in the Dot Hack sign. So um, this movie uh, it changes a lot of stuff from the manga. Sorry, not manga, the anime. <laughs> Sorry, I'm more a, fa a fan of the manga than the anime, if you didn't know. Uh, now you know. Uh, so the story for this movie is humanity is still under attack by the angels. Um, Shinji is um, getting along with his friends. He gets introduced to uh, Asuka, who's the new pilot uh, for uh, Ava 2, who joins the team. Um, they they don't get along too well. They also reintroduce Kaji, who um, ha has nothing to do with Asuka. Like in the in the original show and manga, he was like her caretaker, but also a spy for Gendo and Kari. And there's a subplot where uh, Kaji not only delivers him like this this special object which is related to the human and instrumental mentality plan I forget how do you pronounce it um, but yeah he's all he was also going around sabotaging Ava's and other other uh, countries even though why do, why do they need Ava's when the angels only ever attacked the, like the headquarters and at uh, the Japan branch I don't know <laughs> uh, politics I guess um, you also get introduced to a new, uh, a new Ava pilot named Mary, who was the pilot for a uh, Ava Five from uh, Germany. I think they said it was from Germany. I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, who's voice acted by Trina Nishimura? I'll go over the ca the casting here. You got Allison. Keith as uh, Shep as Masato, Spike Spencer as Shinji, Tiffany Grant as Asuka, J. Michael Tatum as Kaji, John Swayze as Gendo, Colleen uh, Klinkenbird, uh, Bread? Beard, sorry, as Ritsko, uh, I already said who Mari was, Caitlin Glass as Ibiki, Ray voiced by Brina Palencia, who I fucking hate this bitch. <laughs> she's not, gonna, not as a person, but she's like a terrible voice actress. Uh, you got Kent Williams as uh, Fuyutsuki, uh, who's the second command. Mike McFarlane as Hugo. Phil Parsons as Oba. Greg Aries as Kensuke. Justin Cook as Toji. Uh, Bill Jenkins as, as Kiel. Leah Clark as Hikari. Jerry Jewell as Kawaru, Stephanie Young as Yue. So um, another plot to this movie is that you also have this, um, like Asuka starts living with Shinji and M Misato at her at their place. They they become close friends. You get like a little, um, sorry, what what was it called? Uh, romance triangle between like. Rei, Shinji, and Asuka, where in the original show it was between Asuka, uh, Masato, and Kaji, which um, Kaji is very weird. Like in the in this movie, uh, he uh, he um, he tries to fake seduce Shinji, and like he has this plan, um, not plan, but like he throughout the movie he's trying to. Uh, get Shinji motivated and to defending humanity because you know he's 
Um, he's he doesn't really want to pilot Dave on Gellin, right? He's only doing it to get his father's acceptance, right? Um, you also have like um, Ray starts cooking in the movie and wa wants to like get um, uh, Gendo and Shinji to uh, close. They want to she wants to get them closer, and a lot of my theories about this uh, series, almost all of them were proven right in this movie, except for one of them about the identity of Misato's father, which they don't even show his face. There's like, you get a flashback scene of the second impact and of um, Misato being saved by her father. They don't show his face. In the manga, he looked very much like Gendo Akari, so I have a theory. Because we know uh, Gendo Akari took his wife's last name. So I have a theory that Gendo, is, Gendo Misato are brother or sister or some kind of relation. And um, Shinji is her niece, uh, is her nephew. <laughs> and th that's why Shinji and Misato look very similar. Because if you, if you were to like to... If, if you were to ignore, like, Misato's long hair, like, her, uh, her and Shinji look so alike. But that's just a theory of mine. And then there, you also have the problem where, like, you know, you, you know, when you have a guy or character designers tend to have this problem where characters will, uh, start to look alike because they, they're so, like, dedicated to this, their style. <laughs> But I don't know, if you look at other Yoshiyuki Samato um, animes, which there's not a lot to be honest, you don't have that problem in my opinion, but whatever, that's just, uh, <laughs> on to the review. So yeah, you have a lot more CGI in this movie than, than you did in the first movie, but this movie you get like at least, I think I counted at least five fights in the movie, and then like the last two they don't have any CGI at all. Which was, uh, which was uh, great, by the way. Um, I thought there was some weird choices with the music. Um, they change, they straight up changed like. Uh, there's like a scene where like, uh, Shinji has to fight, um, Ava Unit. I think it's like three, Ava Unit three, and it's piloted by his friend Toji. It goes berserk and he's forced to fight it. And that's where, like, you know, he get. That's where the major rift between Shinji and his father starts. Here, instead of it being piloted by Toji, it's piloted by Asuka, right? And then, like, you don't get like in the in manga and the anime, um, they have a huge argument, and like Shinji refuses to fight um, Ava Unit Three at all. So they have like the dummy system. They introduce the dummy system in this one, and that takes over Ava Unit 3, goes berserks and kills, um, destroys Ava Unit 3, and like in the manga or anime, kills Toji. Here, they it just they just injure uh, Asuka, but she's she's not in the movie a after that point. Uh, a great scene that's not here is like uh, he confronts his dad, and like his dad point out. Uh, if you had, if you had just listened to me and fought Ava Unit 3, you could have saved your friend, but you chose to be a coward and, and die, so you gave me no f uh, choice but to, uh, take over, right? That, that scene is nowhere near, it's not, it's not in this, uh, movie, which I thought it should have been, to be honest. Um... And the end of the movie, like, at the series, they had to fight 12 angels. The last angel is the 10th one. And then after that, uh, she, uh, that angel, um, absorbs Ava Unit, uh, Zero, sorry. And, like, Shinji's forced to fight again. Um, he, he defeats the angel and become, and a accidentally causes the third impact, which is why after this movie, it, uh, the next one's all post-apocalyptic. Uh, I was not a fan of that, <laughs> um, to be honest. I mean, that, that's a cool, like, plot point, 
but it's like holy shit like they're going off the rails because like in the because they introduce like like in the first two movies they're introducing this like um shadowy like figure who is the uh, male uh clone version of ua which is you know sinji's mom uh, who's p- voiced by Stephanie Young, which isn't Stephanie Young the original voice actress for for Ray? Why didn't they get her to voice Ray? They have the terrible, terrible uh, Brina Plincia, uh, Plincia, who's like, if you want to see, like, check her out. If you want to see um, examples of her terrible voice acting, check out like Aquarian One and, and Aquarian A- Evo, uh, Evil, like. Her voice acting and that is fucking terrible. Oh my god, that's the thing with Funimation. They have they don't have a lot of great female talent compared to Viz and uh, Ocean Group. Does Ocean Group have good voice actors? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, dude. That. Yeah, no, they have a, they have like you know they have a couple. They have a couple. I can't remember their names, but. Like, <laughs> Um, you have the, the chick who voice acts the she, uh, uh, fuck, who's the fox kid from Inuyasha? She's in, she does, she's also in Death Note, and she did pretty, she voiced Nier in that, she was great. So yeah, I don't know, dude, like, um, you have some great, um, fights in here, though, like, the CGI at time, like, they'll, not only do they CGI the mechs and the, the angels at times but they also cgi all the vehicles even people in crowds and shit like that and it just looks like it just looks so fucking bad but when there's no cgi uh animation wise it looks it looks great um the movie is like i don't know if i mentioned this it's like an hour and 52 minutes Right, I actually watched the movie twice because uh, I was I watched it like last night and I was like uh, halfway through the movie I was finishing up my uh, uh, Wolf uh, one to f- 144 scale high grade, <laughs> which is uh, from uh, Gundam: The Origin. So I'm like, ah oh, fuck, I gotta rewatch the movie. <laughs> it's, it wouldn't be fair. <laughs> uh, yeah, so like. Um, I don't know, you got great action in the second half of the movie, uh, great characters designs, you have this great, like, uh, epic choir music, but, like, cons is, like, you have the bad English fucking dub, um, you have the CGI, you have the terrible music, like, the, you'll have these, like, terrible music choices, where, where, like, the, the... Where, like, all the sound will be out except for, like, whatever song they want to play. And, and it just sounds bad. It doesn't fit with what's going on at all. Uh, which is why I'm only giving this um, movie a 7.5 out of 10. But I'm, I'm looking forward to re-watching the third movie. Who, like, they made the kid, the one guy. I forget his name. The male clone. He's, like, a good guy in that. But, like, weren't, weren't they setting him up to be, like the villain like i don't know i think that but he's going to be the it looks like he's the villain in the fourth movie which is i don't which is what is that is that is the fourth movie even like a sequel or is it just a remake of the third movie i don't i don't know because it's still it's still like calling itself like evangelion evangelion 3 right what's it called let me double check where do I have the... Yeah, it's calling itself Evangelion 3.1 Plus. Thrice Upon a Time. We, you already you already made the third movie, dude. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, whatever. I'm, I'm going to review the third movie uh, next week. And hopefully, you know, I we won't have to wait too long for the third movie to get, like, a Blu-ray boot. Um, a Blu-ray or DVD release, uh, but you know it's gonna probably gonna be like at least a year or two, <laughs> that unless I you know somebody uploads it online, which would be terrible. All right, peace.